Live from New York, it's Desk of Lady Ada, special Saturday night edition. Very testing, yeah. testing, new setup, broadcast yep. edition. Yeah, we figured, we figured we'd test some stuff out and we happened to be in the factory. So, uh, so here, here we, we are. Go. Yeah, we're getting Glorious. set up for the next chapter in Ask an Engineer. Bigger resolutions. Bigger Adabot, screens. Adabot's pink now. Uh, well, that was because I just had to put it in there. Oh, uh, okay. No, I was like, yeah. this is cool. I'm like, yeah, pink, pink Adabot. Adabot. So you're going through some um, samples and more. Yeah. So we thought we would uh, test out our setup and everything and just, um, just display this. This is yeah. like Ask an Engineer rapid prototype. We're not, yeah, we're just, yeah, just making sure everything works. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. So you want to uh, show what you're up to? Yeah. So... I'm going to do some robotics projects I've been doing on Desk Lady Ada, some robot stuff, and I wanted to um, stock some motors and wheels and stuff. So I got some samples. This is like the common yellow uh, geared DC motor. They're called TT Motors. I think the company name is TT. Like That's the name of the factory. But there's a lot of makers of this, basically the same thing. You have a um, DC motor, and there's a gearbox. When I turn it on, these two pieces rotate. You can put an encoder on the back, I guess. Yep. Yeah, hold, well, sorry. Uh, this doesn't really move anymore. That way you're in the, in the front. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can put an encoder on one side, but then there's these wheels. So this is the wheel it came with. It's kind of this, like, terrible yellow color. But, um... They're, the thing that's nice about these is they're very common and they're very low cost. So it's only like a couple bucks to get a full kit because like robotics is, is, can be quite expensive otherwise. Uh, it's, very, it's, very, it's very easy to quickly have a robotics project cost like 50 bucks in parts. So, you know, it's not completely even, but that's okay. Like if it was on, if it was actually working, it would probably even out. It was like about two, two and a half, maybe three. RPM, which is fine. It's a slow robot, maybe. And I have it just powered off with a 5 volt. This isn't uh, speed control. So what we were going to do is look at some... There's like this bracket that I also got. So the question is, you know, how do you mount this? This is annoying to mount. So I got these brackets. So they're bent steel brackets. And uh, I'm not sure exactly... Looks like, like this, maybe. You, you mount it like so, so the holes go through. And then you can, maybe you can do it the other way too. Yeah, so it looks like either way, it's symmetric. And then you have some screws and stuff. So let's take these out. These go through the body. So like, so, so this is like attaches it to, to the body of the, uh, the motor. So just checking that it lines up. All right, so it does line up, so it's nice. And then the bottom here, you have a little bit of clearance so that, uh, well, you know, it's too late now, but you could, you could have the screw go through here. So this motor bracket looks pretty good to me. Uh, and it's nice and it's actually pretty sturdy. Like if I actually bolted this in, I think it wouldn't go anywhere. So it's a good mounting mechanism. So I'm gonna put this all back. And I kinda wanna get everything all at once, so it's it's like, you know, selling the motors but not having a bracket or a wheel at the same time, I think is a little uh, sad. Like, I think it would frustrate people because they'd be like, hey, I bought this, but then I, you know, I don't know what to attach to it. <laughs> so, all right, so this is the bracket. Okay, and then we got these wheels. So this one, I think, is we kind of decided that yellow and black, it's, it's a little Halloween-y, but we're like a bumblebee. We weren't super into it. So I got some samples of different colors. So it's very similar. Um, this one's white with white. And we thought this one was kind of cool, but you, th you thought like maybe the yellow was a little, the white was a little yellowed. I think over time it will. Yeah. And uh, it just, it, it doesn't, um, you know, we, we have colors that we can choose. There's not that many. Yeah. Um, they don't have pink. Um, 
Red is red. Is red. And then um, purple, uh, they don't have that one. So I think orange is nice. Orange and black, orange. I think that's where we're at. That's yeah. Halloween colors also. Like, orange is like, it's not like, oh, this is for boys or this is for girls because that always comes up, like, no matter what you do. Yeah. I think orange is kind of nice. I do like the orange, translucent. Orange, purple is kind of where we're at with Yeah, maybe stuff. We'll, we'll eventually get purple maybe. But, you know, you have to buy a lot and you have to get custom colors molded. Something yeah, I like about that eventually. This, one thing I like about this is it's a little bit nicer wheel than this one. I feel like it's yeah, a little more like even. Someone said dirt magnet. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Right. Um, so it's white with white. You always add more colors later. But. And then we had white with black. So it's the same wheel, it's just variations. But again, I do like the, the texture on this wheel and the feel of it is better, I think, than this wheel. So even though this is a little more expensive, I like this. Oh, I should let folks know. So if you want to uh, chat with us, we're in Discord, adafruit.it slash Discord. And also, since we didn't do a discount code for Ask an Engineer, because we uh, will be resuming the show next week, the code right now is marching. I'm just going to do it till midnight, or if I remember. So if you uh, were waiting around for a discount code on Wednesday night, here's one now marching. Yay. Um, but don't forget, yeah. Itfruit.it slash Discord. That's where we're hanging out at. Okay, back to the Okay, back to, back the, to the wheels. Yeah. Um, white with black. Um, then there is... Orange and black, which looks kind of reddish on the screen, but it's actually like an orange color. Yeah, it's orange. Um, we'll also, you know, we'll have, like, files for, for the 3D printing wheels. Like, that. don't worry about that. that oh, yeah, we that's can, easy. We can always custom make wheels, but, you know, I like this one. Orange and black was kind of okay, but yeah. it still looked a little... It looks like Adafruit logo a little bit, too. A little bit. Yeah, yeah they all have five spokes for some reason. Um, blue and white. I actually wasn't... I, I didn't mind this one so much. You know, it's got this kind of dark blue color and the translucent. Almost done here. Yeah, so also in the, the clear wheels, there's opportunities for NeoPixels. Um, potentially, yeah. Yeah, you could embed potentially, it. You'd yeah. have to drill a hole to get the wires in. And yeah, everyone here can to, drill holes. You'd have to they're figure all, out how to power it. They're like, I got a Dremel. Yeah. And blue with black. So you've got blue with black, blue with clear. You know, you can see I always get like one of each, right? So it's like... Orange with black. And then this is the last one. This is the one we actually ended up picking, but I'll show it. Orange and clear. White with clear. And last but not least. Yeah, Kenny had a good point. The orange is less than like the yellow and black like construction, because I think yellow is also a color, because all of those like Tonka trucks are yellow. So I think orange is kind of nice. Orange. Yeah, we we ended up deciding orange, like orange we can always carry more colors, but yeah. start maybe with this one. You know, on the camera it looks you know of course better than it does in real life. The blue is kind of muted, and the white looks kind of like it's a little dirty. And the orange is really nice and bright. Yeah, it's like an orange. And then clear. like this, the clear is kind of cool because it's like unusual to have clear. Yeah. So I'm kind of into that. So. Um, any suggestions for large motors, 24 volt, 18 plus amps? No. Not yet. Okay. No, these are much smaller. So that's yeah. that. So we're probably gonna start out with the orange and clear. All right. So that's, that's what we're fun. gonna we're gonna the winner of the wheel wheel derby is orange and clear. So we're gonna get that, and um, that's like the easiest thing to do is just to get pick the wheel because there's no specs. It's just like wheel is wheel. Um, so the next thing I have to do is. So there's like I have to make sure you know have these like CIDs. Have to make sure. What? You have to put them in the right box. I have to put them in the right box, right. So the next thing I'm going to do, so this is clear with blue, um, is I have all these TT motors, and they come in, like, all sorts of different voltages and speeds. So I have them hooked up to, um, like, my Metro with CircuitPython. I made a little um, RPM counter with um, a photo uh, transistor that bounces light off of the spokes and then counts, you know, counts basically five spokes per RPM. Because I, I tried to use my oscilloscope and it was a little too slow. My oscilloscope didn't like counting something. It was just, it's just much too slow for it to count. Um, it's like 2 RPM total. So um, I put it on a, my, my circuit Python board and just orange and clear. And I'm just calculating, you know, what's the RPM current and voltage for each one and like how does it sound and how does it feel so that I can pick. I don't want to carry a lot of different motors. I only want to carry like maybe one or two. Um, if you want like every possible motor combo for you know your your combat bot, 
um, Pololu stocks those, and they do an excellent job. I just want kind of like the the core. Yeah, also, like, you know, a lot of people come to Adafruit, they're like, okay, I want, the basics. I just want the best of the best. Yeah. And then if you want to do some other stuff, you can, we'll always say, like, go to Pululu for that, or, like, there's there's lots of other things that we're not going to probably stock. Um, we'll just have the, the best core set possible. Yeah. And then we'll suggest other places. Then we'll add stuff over time, of course. But. Yep. And that's, that's my testing party. So that's what I'm doing today, because it's snowy out. Yeah. Um, someone else, can you dye the clear charts? Yeah, sure. You can do anything. Yeah, it's like a it's like a hmm. rubber. I mean, I guess you could you can dye it or, or draw yeah. on it. I don't know if we can get the rubber separately, so you can do mix and match. I mean, maybe, but with uh, like changing the wheels out. Yeah, you know you can, but it gets it just gets very complicated very fast. Yeah. Um, let me try removing it. So this is what it looks like. So this is the wheel, and it's just like ABS. Yeah, we'll have the best core set, and then afterwards we'll um we'll see how it goes. I mean, like if y'all. Yeah. Make lots of robots. We'll obviously do a bunch of stuff. This is for our upcoming secret robot. So this that we're feels doing. like like a silicone a little bit. Uh, any difference on the grippiness? No. The what? The grippiness. No, they're all this. It's all exactly the same. All six are the same. Um, it's just one's clear. You know, one's clear and one's one's black, and then they just change the core color. It's it's you know common with companies. You're not gonna make a unique everything everything. They'll they have yeah. three different color cores, two color. Outer rims, and then it's just like okay, customized. You know. Read this really. article that they um, they got scientists in to do like cat scans on baseball bats and uh, baseballs, mm -hmm. and it turns out over time they have changed the chemical composition. There there has been some minor changes, but they were it turns out they're kind of significant. And they didn't want to destroy it and open it up. They yeah. actually did a bunch of material like science and uh, CT scans and more. That's cool. Um, because they're like, wow, there's a lot of home runs besides the whole steroid thing, but um, there's also other reasons. I also like that this is flat compared to, this is kind of rounded. This actually feels like it has a better, this has a way better grip. Like this actually, like if oh. you feel, like if you feel this. Yeah, what about it? It feels grippier. The clear one is. The clear one's grippier. Yeah, if I had to, if I had to say, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but. I, the black one just remind me of kind of cheapness. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a wheel diameter? You want to, you have a. Do you, have a you can grab my um, calipers if you want. I'll go get them. Okay. Yeah, just keep showing. I don't know exactly. Maybe. Where that? Um, they're on my desk. Maybe in my clear, like left of, um, monitor bin. Found it. Okay. So let's measure this wheel. Wheel of Fortune. You're uh, blocking on the. Oh, area. sorry. This is about two and a half inches. Kind of hard to like really get because it's getting a little squishy. So 2.56, 65 millimeters. And then this is um, almost the same. So it's kind of a standard, I think. I think, you know, a lot of the. Like this wheel, I think, came then first. Can you uh, pop the this off and do the diameter of the plastic. Six. Bye. <laughs> it's rolling away. <laughs> well, you know it rolls. Yeah. It survives a death fall. Of course it would, but you know, live yeah. live testing. No, that's how they just like yeah, popped this, it up. Okay, so this is the wheel. Um, so they test cars at Tesla. Laters. So this is, you know, 55 millimeters. And then this, this is the thing you have to attach to, and this is actually kind of well documented. So this is uh, 3.7 millimeters by 5.5. Uh, you know, it's it's actually quite precise. Like you really have to have to press fit it. So we'll probably just have to figure out when you want to print something out. What what Here. you know? What's the picture? Showed under. It did not chip when it hit the concrete floor. No. It no, survived. this is pretty durable. This is ABS. I think feels like ABS. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. So that's that's my wheel party. I'll pop this back on. So I'm gonna start getting all these little samples ordered, and we'll get them in the store because we have motor drivers. So that's easy. We have the motor shield, motor wing. Okay. Well. 
Motor, motor so hack. if you uh, want to save 10% off, I'll do that till tonight. And uh, don't forget, we're in Discord. Um, be back there later. There's a bunch of people there now. And that's the uh, test for Desk of Lady Ada to see how this goes. Wheel, did it work out? Yeah, so far so good. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to take a look at the footage that automatically uploads to uh, YouTube. Um, looks like uh, higher resolution worked out pretty well. I have to yeah. do a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, so it goes to all the different places. Um, most people look at things in low resolution on phones anyways, but you can Let's sort go. of kind of have a higher resolution for maybe the, some of the YouTube experiences. Well, maybe for, for long-term archival storage. Yeah, and then um, we're back Wednesday, 7.30 p.m., um, and then also 8 p.m., Ask an Engineer. Um, back to normal. So we'll okay. see everybody soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Motor test.